Rapide, when I passed out, you lay down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Rapide. Rapide? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. We're done. Monsters are easier to beat than I thought. Isn't that better than being harder than you thought? But I feel sorry for them. <sighs> You're way too nice. I don't particularly enjoy being someone else's dinner. You're right. This is different from inside the castle. The strong eat the weak. Well, we're not going to be eating any of these monsters. <clears throat> I... I won't hesitate to defeat any monsters. But I will never forget what I fought or where I fought it. Well, suit yourself, I guess. Then, when I return to the capital, I will make graves in memory of all the monsters I've killed. I... uh... I guess you could do that. I don't understand this girl at all. <clears throat> Let's get this over with. Oh, 
<laughs> I got a little worked up. Guess we can do this. Strength, dwell in this blade. The cry of victory. <sighs> Repeat. Very good. You'll get the runs. <clears throat> oh my gosh! S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Ah, oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia. What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north, once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't understand repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Rapide's a dog, isn't he? Rapide is Rapide. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Rapide doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Rapide's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean, bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> Halur, the city of blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I... Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier?
Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? help heal your wounds oh my you can use healing arts why that would be excellent but I'm afraid we don't have very much money no no I don't need any money amazing the pain is all gone thank you thank you so very much uh, uh, please don't mention it my heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really, think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refused to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, uh, but that one night sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. 
a knight on a pilgrimage. Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. Do you know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He didn't seem evil, but I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. <laughs> Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met is all. Hey! the wrong person and none of the others from the guild are here either I kept her waiting so long she must have gotten mad and left I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom then maybe Carol what's the matter where'd she go is she really gone I'm doing the best I can Carol let's give him some time alone it's over it's over it's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The mayor's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like planned! Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Even though Dadenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. 
Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze, it'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. Howdy, welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Do you have any panacea bottles? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? But you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Laluria petal. Why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. You want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. 
Hmm, yeah. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Leluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Leluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together. Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! You mean you believe what I said about the Panacea Bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you've told us. Yuri! All right, I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank. You can't call this a map. Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar. Their maps are really amazing. All the top guild members have one. So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see, once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Laloria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Laloria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear claw, was it? Yep. Let's go to the Koi Woods. What's the matter, Repeat? Why are you mad? H hold on! Y you don't want to eat me, do you? H help me, Yuri! Something the matter, Carol? It's... it's nothing! <laughs> Talk about mood swings.
I'm gonna do it! together. I guess. All have Blastia. Aren't Bodhi Blastia pretty rare? I didn't think many people had them. You have one too, though. I belong to a guild. Sometimes we get a chance to get one. And Ruins Gate keeps finding more. That's a guild that excavates Blastia. <laughs> there are even guilds that dig up Blastia from ruins? If there weren't, then the Empire would control all the Blastia. Normal folks wouldn't get any. The Empire regulates the ancient Blastia artifacts due to their potential danger. 
I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about... So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going-away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going-away present? Sounds more like you stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have these. I knew you were a noble! Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get that Nia fruit. <sighs> Do you mind if I scratch behind your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it's still too soon for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. <sighs> so then, my name is Estelis. You knew that already, right? Huh? Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I won't give up! week next week but can you really never mind next up is the egg bear claw are we gonna walk around the woods and look for an egg bear? No, we'll never find one that way. Yeah? What'll we do then? Hand me a Nia fruit, would you? I'm gonna use it to lure out the egg bear. The egg bear has very unusual tastes, you see. You smell horrible. Me? That smell isn't coming from me! Please tell us when you're gonna do something like that. Oh no! Repeat! Everyone keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time now! 
and they're famous for their terrible ferocity. So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're going to lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? Of course! But I could use a hand from you, Yuri. I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. Well then, how about we have a bit of a walk around the forest? Why would a Nia fruit be lying on the ground in the forest? I didn't see a Nia tree nearby. Oh, that'd be the monsters in the forest. It's how they mark their territory. Can we really just take it then? I suppose there's no way for us to ask permission. Yeah, I don't really speak monster. Carol, they don't teach that in your guild, do they? The hunting blades hunt monsters. We don't need to waste time making friends with them. That's a shame. everyone it's really ferocious hey fearless leader you're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that the star always performs the finishing blow everybody knows that no I don't think so an egg bear? Well, I have to hand it to you, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. Let's work together.
nothing. Mm -hmm. Repeat help, too. Thanks. I feel power running all through my body. Carol, come get the claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Here, let me help, too. Ugh. Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? Ah! Wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? How's the nose, Repeat? All right, let's head back. We're done. I just keep getting stronger. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. Wait, seriously? I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll spare you all pummeling. 
shaking in your boots at mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade. So, what are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. There we go. We can't do that. It'll get in the way of other people passing through. Who's gonna be passing through? These woods are cursed, remember? You're back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Lelluria petals. That's everything. <laughs> all right. Let's get this stuff made. Yes, please. See a bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison. Let's go quickly. Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well, then let's go prudently.
Oh, have you made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay, then. Here goes. Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the Blossoms of Halor to? I think so. He was hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Please, Great Tree of Halur, restore the fallen barrier! Please! No way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way? We'll have to get another Panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Leluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Please, great tree. Estelle. Amazing! Can this be? Is she using healing arts? It's like a dream! There's no way! And yet... <sighs> yay! Yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the Tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. What did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Ugh. Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Halur's flowers sure are beautiful. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, they're even nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, this really makes it feel like our hard work was worth it. Halur shouldn't worry about monsters attacking, as long as the barrier stays like this. Halur's tree will keep everyone safe.
Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. We wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? You could follow after him. Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Uh, wait! A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Were those the Red Eyes? So you got both the Imperial Knights and those guys after you? Yeah, I seem to be a big hit with all the weirdos. And what did you do to get so popular? Yeah, there's 21 years worth of stuff. Listing everything might take a while. On second thought, never mind. I don't want to hear it. Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Um, 
Yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes, I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to Blastia after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mordio. This may be a selfish thing to say, but I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tobikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all right. You can keep your secrets. He so got the wrong idea. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Oh, I feel so powerful! The area outside the barrier isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. But it's like I read. 
Outside the barrier, there are monsters everywhere. It's so dangerous. Oh, yeah? Think about all the knights going to all the cities of the world. This is nothing. But a lot of people hardly ever go out of the city. Like you, Yuri. And some people never even go out of the castle. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. May I see your passport, please? Our... passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you want to let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. M mordio We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? 
excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here? Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Estelise. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? We're just gonna give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm gonna take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But, but... Well then, Estelle, keep a look out here for us, won't you? Wait, but, but, um... I'm going with you. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I... I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blast, you thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very knightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief! We haven't stolen anything! Sheesh!